Well, good day. This is Jim Moore, and you are watching Justice for America. It is April 4th, Thursday, April 4th, 2024. And I remember today, this episode 86, I remember today because yesterday was my wife and my anniversary. I just want to say thank you to all of you who uh, wished us well and who have been praying for us. 43 years we've been married, so I love you, Linda, love of my life. We're going to jump right in. Today we're going to talk about what is CERN. Now, some of you have not been aware of this uh, acronym CERN -E CERN up until recently, so I hope to maybe explain that a little bit to you and give you some good resources to go look at to educate yourself a little more. So we're going to talk about what is CERN, how it relates to April 8th. We're going to talk about NASA and what NASA is doing on April 8th. And then if we have time, we're going to go into a little bit about the red heifer ton of information today. I'll try to make it as fast as I can. Um, but yeah, there's a lot. So I'll get right to it. First of all, thank you for joining the program. We've been doing this for a few years now. Episode number 86. We have two channels on uh, YouTube. One is Words of Encouragement, which is basic biblical truths to help encourage and strengthen your faith walk. And then the second uh, is the YouTube channel is Justice for America. That's the one you're watching on today. So we have 700 and some programs on the first 86 on this one. And so uh, please welcome, or excuse me, please uh, like the program and subscribe to the program and then hit the notification bell. If you will do at least two out of three of those things, uh, it'll help awaken the algorithms and so on because we are fighting against those. All right, <clears throat> so tons of information. I mean, there is so much going on in the world right now, it is really hard to keep up. And there is a ton of things that is circulating around the next few days. All right. Now, as we always say, we don't want you to be afraid. We're not trying to be fear mongers. We're not trying to just do clickbait. I, I really have started to get a little irritated at people who will out and out lie in the title of the program about what, it's, what it is. Never, <laughs> just to get someone to, to turn. Let me, let me tell you why this happens real quick. I'll make this fast. You need to understand that those who are getting paid for their YouTube programs, which I would not mind, okay, but I'm not, you can get to the place, and it's not my point or position to judge individuals motives that's only god's business but there can happen where you know when you put out a a, a youtube or whatever uh venue and you're going to get a thousand dollar check because five hundred thousand people are going to watch it that's incentive that is what we call motivation <laughs> to just keep putting it out there and putting it out there and then make the pictures and the titles as crazy as you possibly can so people will go oh i want to watch that one okay just be aware, that's one of the reasons there is such a proliferation of information today. It's called infotainment. It's really about in entertainment, not just information. And I'm not saying all of my motives are pure, somebody else's or not. I'm, I'm just saying remember that. Okay, sometimes people will put out four, five, six, seven YouTube videos about the same thing, basically covering the same information because they know they're going to get tens or hundreds of thousands of hits and it's going to translate into actual money from YouTube coming to them. So just keep that in mind. That's all I'm saying. I'm not judging anyone. I'm just saying keep it in mind. Some of this is about money. All right. And if I ever get to the place it's about money for me, you can pray for me. All right. CERN. What is CERN? All right. So I have to admit, when I first heard about CERN, I was a little bit skeptical. Um, you know, there's always so much going out there. And as somebody said, all of my uh, conspiracies are now becoming facts. That's not 100% true, but there's a lot of them. And um, when I first saw this, I didn't think it was a conspiracy, but I just didn't know that much about it. And it just, yeah, and I didn't do a deep dive. I was doing other things. <clears throat> first thing I want you to understand about CERN is it is not fake news. Okay. It is a real geographical science, science project. Okay. Um, I'm going to tell you what it stands for and all that. It's a real place. Okay. It straddles uh, Germany, or excuse me, Switzerland and France. If I, 
If I get some of my information incorrect, please forgive me. It's a lot of stuff to remember. I'm getting old. All right. But it, what it is, it is, it, well, let me tell you what it stands for, first of all. Uh, in French, because it's in, right, France and Switzerland, Council, I, I'm going to mess this up, European pour la Recho <laughs> nuclear. Okay, let me just translate it. So they put council before European because like Spanish, they flip things around. But in English, it means the European Council for Nuclear Research. Now, we turn those words around so it would be Council European for Nuclear Research. There's not going to be a test on that. You don't have to remember that. <clears throat> but it's, it's a place, a geographical place. It's probably the most among the scientific community famous research for, uh, facility in the world. So I'm only going deep on that just to say, please don't think it's some fake thing. It's not. It's been going on since 1951, I believe is the date. They've been advancing. They've been learning. Now, I want to tell you what it's for here in just a second, but it's located in, um, like I said, it kind of straddles France. It's, I think it's in Switzerland is like the building that you would go into. But what it is, it is the... Oh, how would I say it? Well, first of all, I put down the CERN website itself. So you can go to their own website, see some of their imagery. Now, to them, it's all going to be scientific. Okay, I believe there's some definite spiritual overtones to it. Uh, I would go so far as say demonic, but I don't want to get into that too quick. So there's the website. Just remember when you go to their website, take it for a grain of salt. They're not going to come out and say there's anything evil going on. Although I, I think I'm pretty... It's pretty obvious there is. Anyway, um, <clears throat> so let me see what it stands or for. Okay, so the first clip that I'm going to give you is pretty good. Now, I want to say real quickly, some of these have a Christian or religious bent. Some of them don't. Okay, don't be afraid to go. You, we're not looking for the perfect thing that says everything perfectly. Okay, the way you gain information is by looking at a number of things and then deciding on your understanding of what is true and false and so on. So I'm not vouching for any of these saying they are the perfect uh, example for explanation of what CERN is. So, OK, I'm doing my best, though. So the first one talks about CERN in April 8th, and it covers actually four or five things. I think it is one of the better ones. This, if I have my notes here right, is a Hebrew scholar and uh, one of the most viewed, and he really goes through a number of things that not only concern CERN, C-E-R-N, <coughs> excuse me, but also their connection with what's happening on April 8th, uh, with what NASA's doing, about the red heifer, the cicadas, and so on. So there's actually a lot of things that literally the trigger day is April 8th. So we're on the 4th, depending on how quick this video gets out, just a few days. Can I just stop the presses for a moment and say, no matter who you are, you have a human soul. You have a soul. You have a God-given spirit. Your spirit, soul, and body. You are made by God, and you're going to go back to God. Make sure you get right with God, okay? This is mostly informational. I don't, I'm a preacher. I don't want to preach at you, but I do want to say you need to get right with God, okay? Regardless. Do I believe that April 8th is in the world? Absolutely not. I absolutely do not. And yeah, that's another message. But all right, so this first video deals with a number of these things. So let me tell you what CERN is. It is a nuclear research facility that is underground. So point number one, it's 300 feet underground. It is the deepest research facility on the planet as far as I know. Okay, what it is is a huge circle. Now you might see pictures of it where it shows a, a, a little circle, but it's actually 17 plus miles long. So if you did the starting point, so think of a big circle. If you did the starting point and went all the way around it, it would be 17 plus miles, miles long. Wow. And the tube, I don't know the dimensions, but it's large enough for, you know, people and I think even a motor vehicle to pass through. It's huge. It is a, it's called the LHC, which stands for, and again, don't have to remember all this, Large Hadron Collider. So, 
It is the largest collider. It's a particle collider. Now, for those of you like me who are not scientists, let me just tell you real quick. So the Earth is made up of atoms. You know that. Uh, protons, nucleons, forgive me if I get them wrong, but there are microscopic pro uh, particles that make up the universe. God did that, in my opinion. I believe God did that. This is not like pseudoscience or like, ooh, mi no, no, no. This is actual real. The same way you can put, you know, human, uh, you know, sorry to be gross, but like saliva or blood or something under a microscope and look at the cells, look at the atoms, blah, blah, blah. You can DNA. This is real. This is not fake. OK. And the science is real, although I believe it does deal with some spiritual dimensions. <clears throat> so their attempt is they start at two opposite points in this circle. So think of this large circle, 17 miles long. So they start at two uh, points at kind of the the middle-ish, well, not the middle. It's, it's difficult to explain. If you were to see it, you could, and I've got some pictures if you go on and look at these, uh, these websites. If you th see this circle, and at the end of it is like a tail. Okay, that tail, and you'll see it when you see the, like the logo for CERN, is actually three of these circles with tails, and it looks eerily like 666. Okay, wow, okay. Because really, there's only one collider. And as far as I know, there's only two tails on it. So the, the need to put three of them on there, mm, we're, we're just saying. So anyway, think of this circle with a tail. So if you were to look at it, it would look like a uh, like two P's, like a big, huge circle with a tail, like a P would be, like the letter P, only two of them. And so what happens is they fire these p particles up, these two circles, opposite facing. You know, it's only one circle, but but it's two entrance points and they fire them in and they go around this circle. Now listen to me, it's gonna blow your mind. And again, this is true, this is science, it is real. I just want you to know, because I know sometimes Christians, we you know, we have a lot of Christians on this channel, oh, that's not real, that's all fake. No, 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 it's absolutely real, okay? Made my point. So they fire these protons, nuclear, nucleus, whatever, I, I, particles, they fire, it's a particle, collider collide okay i'm trying to break it down for you so they fire these pro these uh particles in opposite directions and i'll get to why they do this and they're, they're supposed to collide they're supposed to smash together now listen at the s almost almost the speed of light almost the speed of light seven miles an hour so i bet you like i did thought that we weren't even close to being able to do anything at the speed of light we are is it what is the speed of light it's like eighteen thousand whatever miles a second the 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 speed that if you turn on a light bulb and you could get way out in outer space and somehow that light could reach that far the speed that it would take to get to you eighteen thousand miles would be one second that's now that's I think that's God and that's fast. This particle collider that's 300 uh, feet under the ground, got to take the elevator down to it, that fires off these particles in a 17 mile around unit and they fire them until they get seven miles an hour below the speed of light. They haven't quite been able to reach the speed of light yet because I think something dramatic in the unseen world would happen. Anyway, another subject. They collide. Now, <clears throat> why did they do this? Why did they do this? Well, let's go on and read what they say about this. Now, you say, Jim, why do I care about any of this? Why does it matter? Well, they're getting ready to, f they don't like fire it off all the time. It's super complicated. Boy, how can I say this? They're looking for something. They're going to fire it off on April 8th. Four, three, four days from now. They're not firing it off all the time. They've done it a couple of times. One of the times they did it, they discovered what they call, I believe it's the bosons. I'll get to it in a minute. I got it written down because I can't remember all this stuff. The boson particle or something like that. It's the particle that they've never seen before. And it was a consequence of firing this collider off. And so it's been, I, I don't want to say dormant because they're always doing stuff and working on it, but they're going to fire it up again in a few days. 
And they believe what they're looking for is dark matter. Now, I don't have time to go into what dark matter is and all that. You know, you've probably watched science fiction movies where they talk about wormholes, right? Or black, a black hole. Now, listen, a black hole is a real thing. It's a real condition that's found in the universe. And again, I believe God made it. I'm just saying, but yeah, that is so dense that it actually absorbs light and light cannot get out of it. It's a real thing. It's a black, let's call it a black hole. They've known about this for a long, long time. They've been able to observe it and so on. One of the things that they're attempting to do is to create a miniature black hole. Now, the black hole has a tendency to draw stuff into it. The gravitational pull, we have gravity here on the Earth, right? I said, Mr. Jim, Mr. Science Man. No, not really. I've just learned all this stuff. You know, you can't say gravity is, God made gravity. Okay, you, we have a tendency, anything we don't, and I'm just saying this, I'm not trying to mock Christians, please don't misunderstand, but we have a tendency, if we don't understand as Christians, to believe it's demonic or it doesn't exist, or whatever. Okay, it's real. Now, the big ethical question about this is if they do find dark matter, if they are able to create, uh, and it is very small, would be a very small black hole, it'd be microscopic, would it contain a gravitational capability to pull things into it like you know the the entire uh, uh, CERN base as it were or, or the country of Switzerland I mean this is incredible stuff now before I say any more please listen to what I'm about to say for those of you who are going I don't know just listen to what I'm about to say could you make well let me say it this way could you split the atom remember the atomic device that blew up Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Do you have any concept as to how that was created? Do you realize when they first started talking, Albert Einstein, Oppenheimer, all these guys started talking about splitting the atom and, and, and making, you know, nuclear fusion, all this that could make a an explosion, you know, large enough to decimate whatever, that, are you listening? Not be mean. The Christian world thought it was all not real. It is real. It was proven real when two of those explosive devices, known as the atomic bomb, were let off in Japan, Nagasaki and Hiroshima. Was there anything more real? Okay, again, my point is when you start out looking, well, how in the world would you split an atom? See, you and I are so far from that reality, and it is a reality. Okay, you need to understand it is a real thing. It's a reality. But we're so far removed from understanding that, we don't get it until a nuclear device goes off and destroys an entire people population. Do you get what I'm saying? Now, this CERN particle collider is on that level and more so. As dramatic as the splitting of the atom and all the science that led to finally making Fat Boy and these devices that, that devastated these two so as advanced and and uh gosh how would you even say it cut cutting edge just doesn't even cut it it was universe altering our understanding of how things work it absolutely changed everything this is on that level and then some we're on the brink of seeing things that maybe we weren't even supposed to see all right so let me read just a, a little bit here. Are you hanging with me? Say, Jim, I want to know the prophecy. I want to know. You know okay, I'm sorry. I, I want you to understand the reality of this and begin to ask the questions. Why is NASA launching three rocket ships on April 8th to observe this happening? We've had solar eclipses before. Why this one? Why is it that the last two form an X over the country? and that the eclipse passes over the cities of Nineveh. Why are, oh, and the rockets, because I'm just, I, I can already tell I'm not going to have time to go into all these. You're going to have to watch, you know, the reason I put these links on here is because I don't have time to, to tell you. And I can't make one or two or three videos every single day like some of the other guys that get paid to do this. I just can't. So I have to pile them all together, and then I expect you to be responsible enough to go and view some of these, okay? Even my wife says so. All right. So, <clears throat> let me get to this. CERN, 
to test, and this is off of their website, this is what they're saying. CERN exists to test the world's most powerful, or excuse me, CERN is the world's most powerful particle accelerator, okay? And it's, go okay, I've, I've got my things mixed up because I wrote these down wrong. Okay, so the purpose of CERN, let me back up, that's going to be lo the fired up again on April 8th, is to search, the purpose of CERN, the uh, particle accelerator, is to search for, this is what they say, invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. Let me read that again to you. The purpose of CERN, the particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, it collides particles, the purpose is to search for invisible matter that secretly powers our universe. Now, barring atheists, most people believe in God in some form. I believe that God, the Creator, Jehovah, Yahweh, His Son, Jesus. All right, you already know what I believe. This is saying that's not true. This is saying, now there are some scientists that actually are doing this that do believe in God. Okay, that's a whole other issue. But primarily, the issue is to disprove the existence of God. Now that's where the spiritual component comes in. I don't believe whatever they discover will disprove the existence of God. It'll only prove that God made things that we haven't seen yet. We are always discovering. To discover means to uncover something. I believe that one day, maybe it won't be until mankind is in the very presence of God sitting on the throne in His Son, Jesus Christ. But one day, all true science and God will be one because God is the God of what we call scientific discovery. He made the laws of gravity and all the laws of nature and the sun and the moon and the stars and their orbits and all that and the signs in the heaven and eclipse. He made all of those things. That's what I believe. One day, all of those things will come together as one. But until then, there's a lot of misconceptions on both of those sides about our Creator God Himself, what He's like, what He does, what He says, and scientific discoveries, you know, that so many people say disprove God. Mm -mm, just the opposite. All right, so that's the purpose to collide these particles, to discover dark matter, to discover the origins. <clears throat> oh, I forgot to say this. This is what they say. Recreate, are you listening now, the Big Bang in miniaturized form. They're saying this is how the universe, they're still on the Big Bang thing. I love the joke that says, maybe it's not a joke at all, that says, I believe in the Big Bang. God went, bang, and the world, everything's great. <laughs> maybe he used, I mean, maybe there was a Big Bang. If there was, God did it. All right. So the idea is that they're trying to recreate in a scientific, enclosed, observable environment, recreate the Big Bang. Oh, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? Oh, my goodness. You know, I believe it's Albert Einstein. When they split the atom, he said, these things are spirits. He said, these things are spirits. They believed in the demonic world. Elon Musk, like him or not like him, like him. He said uh, something recently <clears throat> concerning all this and AI and everything. He says, you know what? We have to be careful. We let the demon out of the bottle. We may never be able to put it back. These are big things. And here's the important thing to remember. Please, if you don't remember anything else, you don't have to necessarily understand everything, but know that it's happening in your day. It's happening not only in your day, in your lifetime, that you were chosen to live in this lifetime, but it's happening in the next few days. Monumental things could happen. It could be just a big, like, nothingness, or it could be something that is launched that happens a couple years down the road. Okay. I need to say this about NASA real quick before I forget because I think I'm going to run out of time. The three rockets that NASA are launching, in the very first link here, he talks about it at length. I'm not going to. But they named it after an Egyptian god. Now, this is not the first time they've done that. They do this a lot. But it's, it's pretty spooky when they name things after demons, demon gods. And that's what it is. Okay, moving on. So that was number one, and I think that was, did I get number two as well? No, I did not. All right, well, I got them misnumbered. 
Oh, uh, so number two is, um, I kind of even hate to say it, but they are planning, and I'll do this one real quick, they are planning to make a sec second, so the, the Hadron Collider, CERN, the Particle Accelerator, 300 feet underground, 17 miles long, seven miles an hour short at the speed of light, is the largest in the world, but it will soon, if they have their plan, if their plans go right, become the second largest. In other words, the next one, instead of being 17 miles, will be 50 some miles around. It'll dwarf the one that is gigantic right now. And again, pressing towards trying to find the secrets of the universe. <clears throat> Scary stuff. Just like making, splitting the atom and winding up with making that explosive device was scary stuff. They could have done global damage with that. It's not a little issue of, of what's happening down there. All right, let me read this to you. So the second one is about, and this one is just to read. It's not, but you should see it. Uh, you look at it. Sci let me just read this real quick. Scientists have submitted proposals for a new 17 billion pounds like dollars you know europe pound atom smasher to help solve the mysteries of the universe the future collider will be 56 and a half miles circular tunnel buried deep underground at the swiss french border just very close next to where the uh, collider is now <clears throat> so the second collider very, very close to it it'll be capable of accelerating particles to almost the speed of light before crashing them into each other possibly shedding light on the mysterious dark matter and dark energy that makes up 95 percent of the universe so they say um blah 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 it'll be triple the size the current uh 17 mile one is now the higgs boson that's i was mentioning that earlier the particle that was discovered through the current uh, collider, the Higgs boson particle, they call, are you ready for this? Maybe you heard this in passing. They call it the God particle. Don't you think for a minute that, that a vast majority of these individuals are interested, as they have been many years, debunking the existence of a literal creator? All right. So um, now I'm going to throw this in here real quick because I'm going to run out of time. You may not have ever heard of the Gothard Tunnel. Now, the Gothard Tunnel is located in, it's also in Switzerland. Now, I have been looking for a connection because when you go to look up CERN, you often will run into this video about the dedication, um, <clears throat> sir, uh, call it a service, maybe that's correct, the dedication of what's called the Gothard Tunnel. Let me just tell you real quick, and I'll do this one fast. The Gothard Tunnel is the deepest and longest tunnel in the world. Very simply, they, you know, I don't know if you've ever seen the movie, The Tunnel. They have this ginormous thing that cuts a hole uh, in the ground. Now, this, this big boring machine was, I don't, again, don't have the dimensions, but it was huge, huge enough to drive multiple trucks through. And high, I mean, it's massive. I, I would say, I don't know, maybe 100 feet, 75 feet. I don't know. Anyway, when they started to make this tunnel, or actually when they completed it, it went, it's called a base tunnel. Now you say, what does this have to do, sir? Hold on a minute. It's called a base tunnel because instead of it being up high in the mountain or going around, you know, you've probably been on a train or driving in a car and all of a sudden you're up in a mountain somewhere on the side of a mountain, they cut through the side of it or whatever. It's called a base tunnel because it is at the very bottom of whatever mountain it is, but it's in the Swiss Alps. You've heard of the Swiss Alps, okay? Massive, massive, some of the tallest mountains there are, blah, blah, blah. They drilled this thing at the base of these mountains. Uh, I don't even know how deep, many, 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 I don't want to say feet, miles, whatever, deep. Deepest in the world, longest in the world. Now, the reason I included this link, and I want to warn you ahead of time, this is a graphic link, okay? Graphic because of its spiritual uh, demonstrations, it's, it's demonic overtones. Bar, now, You'd have to be, and there's some, there's a, quite a number of videos out there. You'd have to be pretty dull to think that these guys were not intentionally 
invoking satanic powers. It is the most bizarre program for dedicating something probably anyone has ever seen, at least that's been made public. Um, I say graphic because there's partial. Now, when I say partial nudity, um, most there's a, there's a point in which they they're seen in their underwear. Okay, I don't believe there's any full on nudity. Yeah, I didn't look that close, but definitely a bunch of people in their underwear. They go through the most bizarre ritual you have ever seen, like 600 actors. We're talking about heads of state. We're talking about celebrities in the viewing boxes, you know, taking pictures, clapping. It is so that Satan, they actually have Satan, the goat headed one come out. The whole thing is so evil. Even the BBC, ultra liberal BBC, they would be kind of like CNN or OPB. So, so not a spiritual entity are like scratching their heads and saying, we do not know what to make of this. I think most people ought to watch this just to know that the people, and here's my point, the same people that are doing these, that are doing CERN, and, and I, I tried to find the connection between these two because often when you go searching for one, you'll find the other. I could not find the technical connection between the two, but I'll keep looking for that. But <clears throat> it's you're really hard pressed to look at this and go, oh, nothing to see here. Okay? All right. And I believe this... Um, no, I forget who it was uh, that made this video. So, okay, even the liberal and then the BBC, they did their thing too. All right, so I think I'm going to end. I actually have so much. I may have to stop and do another program that deals with we've got the bridge collapsing, we've got the squatters thing, we've got so much going on. But I wanted to focus in on this issue, the issue of April 8th. Okay, a lot of people are saying a lot of stuff about it. I guess we'll see. Okay, I'm not worried. I'm not freaked out. Uh, one of the things that I will put on the end of this, I forgot to do it before I started the program, but I'll put on the end when we're done, is a guy that I greatly appreciate, a prophetic guy named Chris Reed, uh, had a dream that about the rebirthing of America. Now, how many know that birth comes with pre problems. <laughs> we're talking about contractions, we're talking about a lot of pain. Okay. Typically, when something new is birthed, it is preceded by difficulty and pain. So in Chris's dream that he had, and I believe it was a dream from God, I'll go on on <clears throat> record as saying I believe it was. Also, I don't want to go into my <laughs> excuse me, but I had a dream similar to it. Anyway, but the end of this dream, after all this difficulty happened, was something new, something good happening in the United States of America. I believe that's going to happen. But it all began with this part you don't want to miss, April 8th. This is not a little... Now, I don't believe it's the end of the world. I don't believe demons are going to become crashing. I, it's not... I, I don't... You know, I think the problem is, is we always want to be able to tell people exactly what's going to happen. You know what? Most of the time, you just don't get to know. And if you go too far in saying, here's exactly what's going to happen, you know, um, you know, this is, you know, God's going to, whatever, you usually wind up with egg on your face. Now, if God comes to you and says something, say it. You're responsible to say it. So I'll include Chris's link here when I get off. It'd be good to watch. It's actually just a, a written statement. But I do believe something is coming. And it does definitely, in my opinion, April 8th is the firing gun for whatever is about to happen. So <clears throat> that's my point. Hey, I want to ask you one more time. Uh, say thank you for joining us. Uh, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. You may think you've subscribed because you're watching this on YouTube, but this will be on the second channel, which is the, um, well, it'll be on both channels, but the one I'll advertise and give you the link for is the channel, uh, the YouTube channel, Justice for America. So look for that. Make sure you're on that one. If you haven't, even if you subscribe to the other one, not everything that's on one is on the other. You need to understand that, okay? So every time Jim comes on, uh, it doesn't go on both channels automatically. Words of Encouragement goes on that channel. Justice for America goes on that channel. Sometimes they're on both, but it's, it's very unoften. So please take the time to subscribe. 
And if you haven't already, give some comments to this, okay? It wakes up the algorithms when you do that. So thank you for joining us. Like, subscribe, and most importantly, hit that notification bell so you'll know when these come on. Amen. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. Love you. Appreciate you. We're all in this fight together. God is going to do great things. Keep up your faith. Keep looking up. Keep trusting. Keep loving one another. Get close to your family. Get close to God and be ready for what comes next. Amen. God bless you. Give yourself permission to have a great day. Bye-bye.